Hi all, welcome back to another video. Survey plays a considerable role in generating more efficiency in business management. It acts as a direct report from the customers or the general public on how well your business is doing. So an active participation strategy like survey can lure in more information and data to develop the company or the industry more customer centered. And this process is proven to be the highly effective in collecting customer data. So here in this video, let's check it out how to create and manage surveys with Odoo 15. So here in this platforms, we can see all the created surveys in the Kanban view and it shows the name of the survey and here we can see the number of answers, number of certified and here we can see the percentage of success. And here we can see the option to schedule the activity. And while clicking on the three dots, we can see the option to edit the survey. And here we can see the option to share it and also you can uh, see the option to delete it. And here we can give the color for the color for highlighting the surveys. Apart from the campaign view, here we have the list view and also the activity view. So from here also we can schedule the activity and here in the list view we can see the survey title, number of registered, number of attempt, average duration, number of success, success ratio and finally we can see the average score in the percentage. And here we can choose various filters, group by and the favorite options. So to create a new survey, you can click on the create icon and here we can provide the survey title. Let it be a interview and here we can choose the responsible person from the drop down menu. So here Michelle admin is auto allocated and here in the question tab we can see the option to add a question and add a section. So while clicking on the add a section, we can uh, provide a or enter a section here. And here we can click on the add a question. So a new window will appear and here we can provide the question for the survey. And here we can provide the question types like multiple line text box, single line text box, numerical value, date, date time and so on. So here I'm gonna choose the multiple choice only one answer. So here we can provide the choices by clicking on the add a line. And here we can provide the description and also we can choose various options like constraint display, allow comments, live session and conditional display. So here we can enable the mandatory answer field so a error message will appear. So likewise we can uh, provide another error message and here we can enable the images on the answer. And here we can uh, enable the comment field so we can provide the comment message here. And here we can enable the comment field is an answer choice. And here we can set the uh, question time limit in the seconds. And here we have the option to enable the conditional display. So a triggering question can be entered here. So here we can save this. So likewise we can uh, provide another question or you can add another section here.
so here also we can choose the question type like multiple choice only one answer and here we can provide the choices and here also we can uh, enable the features and can save this Here in the description tab, we can provide the description about the survey. Likewise, we can uh, provide the end message also. And here in the option tab, we can see a lot of options. So here in the question section, we can choose the layout like one page with all the questions, one page per section and one page per question. And here we can choose the progression mode like percentage and number. And here we can enable the survey time limit and also we can set the uh, time here. And the selection can be done like all questions and randomized per section. And here in the scoring section, we can choose the scoring like no scoring, scoring with answers at the end, scoring without answers at the end. So the success percentage can be set here. And also here we can activate the ESA certification option and here we can choose the email template. So here we can choose the uh, certification template and also can preview it. Here in the candidate section, we can choose the access mode like anyone with the link and invited people only. And here we can enable the appraisal managers only, login required and also here we can set the attempt limit. And finally, in the live section, we have the option to uh, reward the quick answers and also can see the session code here. So here we can save it. And here we can choose the correct answer and also we can uh, set, uh, set the scoring for the choices. So here we can see the option to share it. So while clicking on it, we can see the uh, pop-up window appearing, sorry, new window appearing and here we can see the server title and here we can choose the response name and here we can see the subject and also the email body and here there is the option to attach the documents and can set the answer deadline here. Here you can see the uh, email template is auto allocated and click on the send icon. So here we can see the mail is registered here and here we have the option to test the survey. So while clicking on it, you can see the description that we have provided and the uh, time limit of the survey can be seen here. So to start it, you can click on the start certification. So from here we can choose the correct answer for the questions and click on the submit. So here we can see the uh, end message that we have provided and here we can see the score in percentage and here we have the option to download the certification and if you wish you can review the answers here so while clicking on it you can review the answers and here we have the option to print and also can uh, click on the close icon
Here in the question menu, we have two options that is questions and suggested values. So first we can go to the questions. Here we can see all the questions created in the survey. So while clicking on it, we can view all the details about it. And here we have the suggested values. Sometimes we suggest uh, answers or give option to select the correct answers to attentive while creating different types of question for the service. So the suggested answers can be seen here. So when clicking on it, we can see all the respected suggested values. So here we can see the suggested values here and also we can see the score for the choices. And here in the participation menu, we have two options that is participation and detailed answer. So when clicking on the participation, we can see that it is grouped according to the survey. So we can see the name of the survey, created date, deadline, partner details, email ID, number of attempt, status. And here we can see the uh, details of quiz pass and also we can see the score in the percentage. Apart from the list view, we can view it in the Canton view also. So here we can see it is listed according to the feedback for my company mentor certification, quiz about uh, company furniture creation certification and it is also possible to add columns and here we have the option to fold it, edit it and also uh, delete also. And here also we can choose different filters, group by and the favorite option. Here we can uh, see the detailed in, uh, answers of the surveys. So while clicking on it, we can see all the details. So it gives uh, the name of the survey, user input, question, created date, answer type. And here we can see the skipped answers and also can see the uh, score. So we have been discussing about how to create and manage surveys with Odoo 15. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.